As you saw in my previous videos, we cleaned this beautiful piece with white lightning cleaning product, and then we did our first coat in Dixie Belle Vintage Duck Egg, and then we did a second coat after that. This piece is done, but I'm gonna show you how a clear coat can enhance your piece. So I'm first gonna show you flat clear coat. Now this is a matte finish. It has no shine to it. It's a milky consistency, and it just goes on perfectly on my synthetic brush. So with the flat coat, you want to do a thin layer, and you can do up to three coats. Make sure that you leave one hour between your first and your second coat. So this is a matte, no shine finish, as you can see. And you're really gonna notice when I show you the satin and the gloss. Right. So this is my favorite clear coat, satin. It has a milky white consistency, again, do very thin layers, up to three layers, one hour in between your first and your second layer. It has a beautiful buttery finish to it that I just love to see on all my pieces. And that's our first coat. So here I'm using gloss, which is a high shine finish. It's awesome if you're gonna put wax on afterwards as well. So all three of these products cure in 21 to 30 days and they'll become water resistant. And I like to pour all of my uh, products into a tray because you have residue and all kinds of things on your paintbrush and you don't want to contaminate your product by switching back and forth. So I always like to start by working in a tray like so. So the second coat of our clear coats have finally dried. And as you can see up here, this is the flat finish, which is a true matte finish. It has no shine. In comparison, look down here at the, the gloss finish. Look at how shiny it is in comparison to the flat. And then in the center, we have the satin, which is a nice buttery medium finish between these two.